Well, that last one, uh, this is the other north one. Uh, it's called Transmission. Uh, it's a 6.9 IPA. Um, again, doesn't tell you what's in it. Uh, it's an east coast meets west coast. Soft and juicy IPA. Hazy orange appearance. Uh, deep tropical flavour. And a crisp pine bitterness. Um, 6.9 as I just said. Uh, I've swapped glasses because that uh, Magic Rock one was so bad that I didn't really want, <laughs> didn't want any essence of it. Um, I I drank most of it. I did tip the last little bit away. It just oh, it was just so bland. Such a letdown. I mean, I, if if I if I was brewing something like that, and I was in the craft beer business of brewing and things. I don't think I could put that out knowing that it tastes like that and expect people to pay even three quid a can, which is what it was in Asda. Um, it's just not, in my opinion, it's just not good enough. If you're going to put something out like that, you've, you've, got, to, you've got to make it just decent enough to... I mean, for me, that's not even supermarket worthy. I've had stuff from the supermarket before that's been really good, and I've had stuff that's been okay, and that just that is just nowhere near any of that at all. And it's it was so disappointing. It just really was. I mean, I, I if I had that on a cold on a hot day, and I had a cold one of those or a cold. Bud or Peroni or you know even a Heineken or something. I think I would have preferred the Peroni or the Heineken or something like that than that. It was that bland and boring. It just really wasn't great. Anyway, it, this has got much better colour as you can see. Got a nice head at the moment. It's actually quite smelly for a uh, for a North Brewing. Um. It's quite, it's got quite a dank, sort of stinky smell to it, like a wheat, you know, like a a, a nice stinky smell. <laughs> I mean, it's six nines, that's almost seven percent. It's quite a strong um, beer, but that does smell smelly. Wow. Okay, I've got to say, I am impressed with that. I was not expecting that. That is, that is very nice. Very, very nice. It has a, a, a stinky, I wouldn't say quite sort of that weedy, really dank stuff you get from you know, from a phantom or a verdant or a beak or something like that, but it's definitely smelly and you can tell it's got some some heart put into it. <laughs> yeah, it's got a little bit of sort of danky, weedy kind of it's not majorly, you know, I say like verdant and beet kind of standards, but you don't expect that from a North Bruin in a supermarket, but that's bloody good. I mean, that's, that's probably one of the best supermarket beers I've ever tasted, I think. Honestly, really, I know I've just had it after that Magic Rock, which was shit, but that is really very surprising. Um, yeah, I'm really impressed with that. If someone just poured that in a glass and said, here you go, didn't show me the can, I would say it came from a craft beer shop rather than a supermarket. I wouldn't say it was one of the high-end 
craft beer breweries, but it's definitely in amongst some of those sort of good ones. That, that's very impressive, I've got to say. I would definitely, definitely get that again, and I, I probably will get it again just to have on another day, just to see if it was a fluke or if it really is. But I think that's really nice. That's quite impressive. Uh, I will give that... Let me give that a 7.5, which I think for a supermarket beer is pretty generous. I mean, if we're putting it in the supermarket ca supermarket category, which I think we are, then if I'm rating it in amongst there, I'd probably give that an 8 in the supermarket beers. It's very good. Yeah, thank God for that. That, that magic rock was a letdown and that, um, yeah, that's just... <laughs> that's just giving me some uh, hope that there's still some good beers in the supermarket so uh, yeah sorry sorry for the ramble one it's been six minutes but yeah that's uh that's really good for the supermarket range i'll give it eight cheers